Hello there and welcome to this full video walkthrough of this one of a kind Supra 3.0 Pro. This car is littered with not only factory options but aftermarket cosmetic modifications. Join me on this full video walkthrough to decide whether this car is the right next insane vehicle for you. Let's go. Let's start off with the obvious, the reason as to why you're all here. This Supra has over 16,000 pounds worth of aftermarket cosmetic modifications. That's the value of an entire used Mark 7 Golf R on top of the fantastic Japanese machine that you're getting already. Now, before we get on to the huge list of mods, I just want to break you down some of the essentials. Number one, this vehicle under the bonnet has never been modified. It's had no stage remaps, it's had no hardware um, modifications underneath the bonnet. As well as that, the car is still within its full manufacturer warranty. If you continue to get it serviced, by the way, it's already had two services from Toyota. If you continue to have it serviced, it will have the full 10 year warranty finishing in 2030. A warranty from the manufacturer of a vehicle that looks like this. Insane. Anyway, let's go through the full list as to what modifications this car has. Custom carbon fiber bonnet, carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber front arches, carbon fiber wing mirrors, carbon fiber side skirts, rear carbon fiber can yards, rear muffler delete, and custom exhaust from EMP Performance. Heritage spoiler, full carbon fiber with the ping wrap. Carbon fiber upper seat inserts. 12 millimeter hub centric spacers with a full geo setup by Swift Performance. And of course, this car has had a full body wrap by the world famous Yanomize. At AK Prestige, we have a brand reputation of selling honest vehicles. And with that, in every video walkthrough, we like to take you through the good, the bad, and the ugly, so you know exactly what you're gonna be behind the wheel of every single day. Now luckily on this Supra, it is what we would call a grade A1 condition. However, there are a couple of very light blemishes which are worth noting as this is a used vehicle with nearly 20,000 miles. The first point is there are a couple of very light stone marks here on the lower grille area. However, you can forgive that for a car of this beauty. And as well as that, there is a very light blemish here in the wrap. Other than that, the wrap overall and the cosmetic condition of the car is perfect um, and one point worth noting is that this car does come with spare vinyl and you can take it back to Yanomize so that you can have that rewrap if you would like to. Follow me inside the car so we can see what this thing has to offer. It's fair to say that from the outside this vehicle truly is a showstopper. Anywhere you go it will get attention and that's really the point of this car. It is something beautiful and something to be shared but once you get inside it's when you start to remember that this thing is a purpose-built sports car as soon as you sit in you're cocooned you feel like the car is ready to drive and drive fast with you as well as that it's a super controlled and comfortable environment you do have the full electric seats heated as well and they are leather perfect for all conditions as well as that although it is a very low roof you do have these large cutout scoops so that if you're taller or if you're going on track and you're wearing a helmet you've got the space for and that's actually exactly what it was designed for for people to wear helmets when they're going on track. Just before we actually get inside the car, one thing I've got to mention is that all of the seals um, were also wrapped as well. This is an optional extra and not something which many people do when they wrap their car, but all of the seals around the car, inside and out, have been wrapped. Now, oh, let's make our way inside. As mentioned, super comfortable. It's easy to get the right position. And from here, I've got my lovely digital display and my heads up display as well. There's so much information going on here. And the great thing about this car is that although it feels raw, it is filled with technology, including active um, adaptive cruise control, full wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless charging, tons of options when it comes to your sort of heating and cooling, dual zone climate control, etc. And the driving modes are something that's really worth talking about as well. You only have two different driving modes. You have standard or sport. However, the sport is customizable. Um, and when you're in sport mode, 
the uh, rear exhaust sort of livens up a little bit more, you get a bit more noise, the throttle becomes a lot more responsive, um, your steering becomes a lot more responsive or sort of harder, and overall it becomes a much nicer driving racing experience. However, if you have it in standard mode, in normal mode, it is a lovely everyday car. Of course, it is a little bit low, so you've got to be a little bit cautious of when you're going over large speed bumps and that kind of thing, but again, you can forgive that for the looks of this car. Another cool point to note is the traction control. Now, if you head over to the screen, what you'll see is when you press traction control on or traction control off, the car moves to a drifting stance, which is really cool. So that's standard with the VSC on and going into traction mode, you've got that. And if you hold the button, it will turn all of the traction off as well. The VSC goes off. Moving over to the standard manufacturer specification, this Supra was loaded from factory, including the JBL upgraded surround sound, the leather multifunction seats with the white stitching, leather going all the way up onto the dashboard. We've already mentioned the Apple CarPlay and the wireless charging, but let's go back to the heads up display. Now on the heads up display, it doesn't only show you the speed. You can also, you can't see it, but I can right now. You can actually um, change your tracks as well. So you can go to previous and next track. And when you are in, your navigation mode, it does navigate you on the heads up display, which is really cool. Now you can see that it's flashing on there, but that's just because uh, the camera can't pick up the LED light correctly. It is really nice and solid there. That's the summary of the interior. And overall, I mean, it, you know, to wrap up, it's, it's such a lovely, lovely thing to be in. Um, as well as that, the car does come with a carbon fiber center console from factory, which is a really nice touch. And again, the previous owner has made it so that the rest of the car matches that theme of full carbon fiber. Before we wrap up the video, there's something special that we want you to listen to at the back. You would have noticed in that last clip that the car doesn't have a soft limiter, which is a really nice thing, especially in a modern car. Pretty much all German vehicles produced now have a soft limiter. You can be driving a 250,000 pound car and you cannot free rev it like that. So your Supra will sound better at a standstill than pretty much any Porsche or Lamborghini out there. As well as that, we decided that on this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different and we're gonna take you for a drive. So you can get to experience in this video what it's like. Let's go. The first point to know, in this 2020 Supra is the ride quality. Now this car does have dampers, so depending whether you're in normal or sport mode, you will feel you will feel a difference in the overall drive quality and sort of just how comfortable the ride is. Now, yes, this car isn't a you know super comfortable S-Class right now, however, it is more than comfortable for a sports car. In fact, it's fair to say that this is significantly more comfortable than something like a BMW M2 or even an M4. I'm really, really enjoying this ride right now. Um, but again, it is worth noting this car is a sports car and it's meant to be driven as such. So just in a second, we will put this car in sports mode and see how it performs. At the moment, it's just a nice, comfortable drive with a lovely noise coming from the exhaust. The engine sounds fantastic. You do have intake noises as well coming from the car, so it really does feel like a JDM vehicle, and of course, that is what it is. But anyway, we've got a bit of um, country road with no cars ahead of us, so let's put it in sport mode and see what this car has. So immediately, as soon as you put it in sports mode, it dropped from sixth gear to fourth gear. Um, the front area here on the driver display changed. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of hovering around 3K rev just as I'm driving, it's ready, it wants to go. Let's put our foot down, see what happens. Oh, immediately it dropped gear. It revs up really high to around, probably around 6.6, 6.7. .6, um, overall really nice, gears are very responsive. You can stick it into manual mode as well with the Tiptronic, um, and it is very quick. Yeah, it's lovely. And again, you've got that lovely sort of orchestra of intake noise, engine noise, and the exhaust note. All together it creates a symphony. Really, really nice thing. As well as that, we do have on the infotainment, you've got your Apple CarPlay just working there. So let me know there's a speed camera up ahead. Very useful in a car like this, fair to say. Overall, really enjoying this thing. A couple other points worth noting is uh, the JBL sounds really good when you're driving around as well. Um, I feel like I'm in a good position. Uh, you know, I'm low to the ground, but it doesn't feel like I'm in something like a Porsche or Ferrari, which is weird because it is 
a similar height. You've got this giant front area in front of you, so you really do feel like you're towards the back of the car. It's very pointy as well because the front wheels are so far ahead of you when you're driving. It's sort of the steering feels different to something like a standard hatchback or a saloon because uh, of the dimensions of the car. You do feel like you're sort of more towards the back, which is a nice experience. Again, it feels like a race car. And I don't think it's unfair to say that this is the closest you can get to a race car without having to spend six figures. And when you think of the fact that this is less than half of a hundred grand, it's not bad. Now, I did steal that from a colleague of mine. It's exactly what he said. This is as close you can get to a race car while still being a sports car. And yeah, and arguably this car looks better than a lot of race cars, a lot of supercars. I mean, it produces around 330 brake horsepower, which isn't, you know, supercar figures, but at the same time, because it is so light, low to the ground, and the Geo setup from Swift, it is, you know, something truly special. If I had some negative comments to mention with this car, is although, yes, it borrows a lot of the features of the interior from the BMW, and it does have the same B58 engine borrowed from BMW with alterations. Um, the interior doesn't fill up to the same quality as you would get in a BMW. That's really the only downside that I can say. Sometimes you are reminded that this, you are reminded that this is a Toyota, but that is very occasionally. And you know, when you're focusing on the road and you're really experiencing it, all that stuff goes away, and all you think about is the driving experience, which in this car truly is 10 out of 10. You can hear the pops and bangs as soon as I let my foot off the gas into the mode, and you know, just the intake noise. Bags out the back. Really, really lovely thing. So, let's head back to AK Prestige HQ and wrap up this video. We really hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you are considering purchasing this vehicle or a vehicle like this, be sure to give us a call. Now, it is still possibly up for sale. I may be keeping it for myself because I absolutely love this thing. But what I would recommend is just giving us a call. My name's Costa from AK Prestige and I'm more than happy to provide you an honest and transparent service as always. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.